Why do we have 365 days in a year and who decided? Have you ever stopped to wonder why a year is 365 days long? Is it just a random number or something more cosmic? The answer takes us back to ancient civilizations, observing the skies to make sense of time itself. Let's unravel this celestial puzzle together. A year is based on Earth's orbit around the sun, which takes roughly 365.24 days. But managing a fraction in our daily lives? That wouldn't work. To simplify timekeeping, early astronomers rounded it to 365 days, adding an extra leap day every four years to balance the math. The ancient Egyptians were the first to adopt a 365-day calendar, inspired by the annual flooding of the Nile and the position of the star Sirius. Later, the Romans, under Julius Caesar, refined this system by introducing the Julian calendar, which cemented the leap year rule. Over centuries, those in power influenced how calendars were structured. Religious and political leaders shaped timekeeping to match festivals, farming rituals, and more. When the Gregorian calendar replaced the Julian one in 1582, it fine-tuned our system to the precise astronomical year we still use. The concept of 365 days isn't tied to one decision, but a blend of scientific observation, cultural adaptation, and the influence of historical figures. Julius Caesar's reforms left a lasting impact, but the system has been refined through a collective effort of humanity's brightest minds. Now that you know why a year has 365 days, what other secrets of timekeeping and science would you like to uncover? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and explore more fascinating insights on our channel. Let's keep questioning the world around us.